Algebra 1, 6.7b. I'm going to talk about binomial expansion and Pascal's triangle. We can use the distributive property as many times as we need in order to expand binomials to powers. That's binomial expansion. If we have x plus 2 to the third power, that just means that we've got x plus 2 three times, don't we? Multiplied to itself x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. And we can work this out so that it's x to the third power times 4x times 4x. See? We can just keep doing it. And using distributive property, and when we combine the like terms, we get x to the third power plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8. See? We just expanded that binomial. And it all started with this one tiny little binomial to the third power. Look at how big it got. Well, if we have a plus b to the n power, and the n means we don't know what it is, and we substitute different numbers for n, so the exponent n could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. We can actually make a triangle out of this. Look at this. If we have a plus b to the 0 power, we know 0 power means it's going to equal 1. So we got a 1 right here on the top of our triangle. And a plus b to the first power just means a plus b, doesn't it? a plus b to the second means that it's going to expand like this. And then a plus b to the third, it's going to expand like this. And a plus b to the fourth, it's going to expand like this. And look at these numbers. Look at how it goes 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. Do you notice anything about this pattern? Look at this goes b, then b to the second power, b to the third power, b to the fourth power. We could actually take this triangle now and make a bigger triangle by continuing this pattern, couldn't we? Look at a to the first power, see? Then a to the second, a to the third. Now it's got b to the first power, b to the second, b to the third. See, and the a is staying the same. And in this one, the b is staying the same. And then look at here. They both are to the second power. We can actually continue this triangle on by doing this pattern. Now, there's actually a triangle in mathematics called Pascal's triangle. And it looks like this. And what he did was he put a 1 here, and then he put a 1 and a 1. See? And then there's a 2, and there's 1s coming all the way down the side. And then do you see a pattern here? Now look at the triangle above us. Do you see what's going on? Look at there's an orange 2, there's an orange 2, there's a 3 and a 3, there's a 3 and a 3, there's a 4 and a 4, and a 4 and a 4, and there's a 6. See? It's actually the same triangle pretty much, isn't it? Well, the way Pascal's triangle works is you add two numbers and they'll equal the number below. So if you add this 1 and this 1, it's going to equal that 2. And if you add this 1 and that 2, it's going to equal that 3. And that 2 and that 1 equals that 3. And that 1 and that 3 equals that 4. See? That 3 and that 3 equals that 6. That 3 and that 1 equals that 4. And we could continue this triangle on, couldn't we? So we can use Pascal's triangle in the pattern of binomial expansions to find powers of binomials. It'd be a lot easier to just know this triangle and be able to use it to expand binomials. So if we had to expand x to the third x plus 3 to the fourth, we know it's going to be this big, long polynomial, isn't it? But what if we just copied this one, see, a plus b to the fourth, we just copy it, and we use the pattern of the triangle as a guide. We can substitute the x for a and the 3 for the b and just copy it. So then we get x plus 3 to the fourth. We put the x where the a is. And we put the 3 where the b is, see? Put the x where the a is, 3 where the b is. And when we simplify it, we just do our multiplication and combine our like terms. And we get this nice polynomial, see? Isn't that cool how we can do that? So if you want, you could copy this down. If you want to freeze the video, you can copy this down. And you can make it bigger in your notes so that if you ever have to expand binomials, you'll be able to use this pattern to do it, right? Okay, 
So here's a little bit of history. This pattern known as Pascal's Triangle has a history that goes back centuries before Blaise Pascal was born in 1623. And there have been references to a Persian poet named Omar Khayyam, he's kind of famous, who lived in the early 1100s. That's the 12th century. But it was also known in China. When Chu Shi Che published the triangle in 1303 in China, he referred to it as the old method. So, wow, this has been around for a long time. People have been playing with numbers and patterns and puzzles, right? So, that's binomial expansion. That's Pascal's triangle. That's a little history on Pascal's triangle. And I hope you found this interesting. Our next unit, we're going to talk about solving equations by factoring. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.